Okay, today is uh, Sunday, September 11th. These are the uh, these are the uh, bell cranks. Uh, this uh, centerpiece is steel. Uh, it's been painted, obviously, uh, and the rest of these are custom-made parts. So um, uh, there's basically uh, there's four of these uh, uh, U-shaped things that you have to make. Two of them go on here. And the other two, uh, off the top of my head, I don't know where they go, but uh, uh, they're part of the upcoming build. Uh, so that's the bell cranks, uh, and those are all done. And uh, like the other uh, pieces, uh, the center part uh, here, uh, you can't see it with the bolt in place, but there's a there's like a, a rod that goes through uh, like this. So, like, this is part of this piece here. This is all uh, steel here. So, uh, that, that inside diameter is just slightly too small. So, uh, you might have to spend a little bit of time uh, uh, dremeling that out uh, to get it to uh, uh, the bolt to go through. But uh, with a little persistence, uh, it's a nice, tight, uh, perfect, even fit. So, uh, like, there's no rattle in this at all. So, uh... Uh, besides the bell cranks, uh, I've gotten uh, this part, uh, these uh, pulleys in. Uh, don't mind the air. <laughs> uh, so that pulley there, uh, there's another one. There's another one here. Uh, and one over here. And one there. So, uh, I haven't built the braces yet. That's, uh, I believe I'll be doing that uh, as soon as the uh, bell cranks are done. I've got to uh, put those braces that go from here down to the, the, the center here. And uh, same for, for that one. Uh, and then the, uh, the cables uh, go in. As you can see, that little hole there had a reason for being. That's where the, the cable's gonna go through. So you've basically got a, a square setup where the cables uh, are hooked through here and uh, the, uh, the cable comes back around here and, uh, and hooks up to, these, uh, to those bell cranks. Uh, these bell cranks here are, are rotated by the, the, the cable. So that's how that works. Okay, today is uh, September 17th, Saturday. Uh, just finished doing this cable. That cable runs through that hole, comes out on the other side, attaches to those uh, two guys there uh, by, uh, with that turnbuckle so you can uh, make small adjustments. And it comes around this pulley and onto there. So uh, uh, other than you know working in tight spaces, which is kind of par for the course, uh, it's really not that difficult to do. I guess the thing that was, I wouldn't say troublesome, just uh, annoyance is, uh, and I'm glad I didn't put the uh, the pins in there. Uh, once I had the, the cable measured out exactly and marked where that uh, uh, clamp needs to go uh, before it was uh, shua swaged, uh, I took that off so I'd have enough uh, slack to kind of pull this out and, and then swage it and then put it back in. The, this is completely done. Uh, of course, once the uh, once all the cables, you know, around that one there and, and the the ones that come around the back here, um, once those are done, you know, these uh, these turnbuckles will probably need to be adjusted. But uh, I got it uh, pretty tight, uh, not so tight that it's ridiculous. So you can you can see the the amount of tension. <clears throat> which is basically hand tight uh, and nothing more. So uh, this side is done and uh, it's just a matter of uh, doing the rest of the cables. Uh, uh, it's not really that difficult. It's a little time consuming because you want to get it right. These here um, from the, uh, the the videos that I've found, they want you to do it uh, three times. So uh, 
that one swaged in the middle and then uh, on the, the two ends. And uh, the videos that I found, uh, they wanted you to leave just a little bit of room for that to expand, so that's that's what I did. Uh, so, and I just used uh, uh, shrink tubing to uh, uh, to cover the the uh, the ends, so they you know they don't get frayed or caught on anything. And the same in there, I tried to uh, to get it uh, uh, as dead center as possible and made it a little bit smaller. Uh, to leave uh, to leave room for for everything so uh, of course that'll you know that'll go that way <clears throat> so that's that's about it for for that side okay it's uh, later today uh, I decided to come back out and I got the other one done and uh, kind of as expected uh, this one didn't take as long uh, just like the other one uh, everything is uh, um, got the uh, shrink tubing on it to uh, to hold that uh, leftover in place. Those are a little long, but who cares? Uh, and uh, that one, I, you know, same as the other side, I tried to get it as, well, I guess you can't really see with the shadow, but uh, tried to get these uh, centered as, as well as possible. So uh, they won't, uh, you know, they won't be touching the uh, uh, either edge. So it's gonna take too long to uh, to do the uh, uh, the back portion of this, but I'm, pretty happy with it so far. I've just got blocks holding these and those into the uh, neutral position with the, with clamps. So as soon as I get back to it, uh, I'll be putting the uh, uh, the final piece in and then uh, I can actually move these without the cables uh, just, you know, flopping around because there will be tension on everything, uh, which will be cool to, uh, to test. Uh, uh, they'll actually be functional controls as far as the uh, the cable moving around So looking forward to that day is uh, Thursday September 22nd uh, I got these two uh, Braces done and uh, they're not uh, Bolted into the the frame yet. They're just clipped on everything is good to go for those and they make a a world of dif a difference. I didn't realize how much stiffer that would be, but uh, like these had some some flex to them before, and now it is rock solid. So that that makes a huge difference. So that side there uh, is uh, hooked up and going through the hole in the back there. <clears throat> so this is run through. Uh, I've got. Uh, this on which will connect to the other side coming around this way that I haven't done yet it's uh, I think it's almost or it's a little bit after eight o'clock so I'm gonna call it a night but uh, this is ready to hook up to the uh, to the other side and as far as this one went uh, it was much easier just to uh, uh, take off take this uh, off of the uh, frame and uh, in fact, it's not, uh, I haven't screwed this back on yet, but uh, uh, it was easier just to take it off and, and put the, because you got to run that uh, cable, uh, if I can get down in there, uh, you got to run that cable uh, through there along with the eyelet that goes inside of it uh, and uh, swage the cable and there's not a whole lot of room to work there. I don't think you'd even be able to uh, swage the cable uh, with so little room with with this thing in the way, so uh, uh, I just took it out and it was super easy to do. <clears throat> so uh, that's where it sits now. So I just need to uh, uh, screw those in, uh, finish uh, screwing that one in, and uh, do the exact same thing that I did on this side uh, as far as cabling uh, uh, on that side. And of course the, uh, the cable's a lot longer. Uh, this side here is supposed to uh, to be uh, uh, on this side of, uh, of that uh, space there. Uh, and this one they said was supposed to be up about 15 inches long and it pretty much is exactly 15, so happy with that. Uh, and it, uh, it's definitely well clear of that, that space. And the, the other cable uh, will come around here and then hook onto there. And of course this is uh, adjustable so it can be tightened as uh, can uh, that one and that one, so. Uh, lots of uh, lots of opportunity to uh, to make adjustments, uh, and it should be nice and tight. And 
uh, once this is all hooked up, I can take those uh, those clamps off and uh, uh, and start you know making sure that everything is nice and smooth and and tight and, and all that get all that jazz. So uh, I think that's it for tonight. Okay, today is Saturday, September twenty fourth, and all of the rigging is complete. Uh, I got these two. Uh, uh, braces bolted in not a big job but uh, uh, this is done uh, looks like I'm going to uh, I'll have to check the drawings and maybe they accounted for it but uh, uh, this touches this this here uh, it may be uh, a good idea to get some sort of uh, plastic clip to uh, to put under that uh, just so it has something to uh, slide on besides bare metal uh, Beyond that, uh, and I need to get some uh, some bushings for uh, for the back here as well. So that's the uh, the bushing in the front there. Uh, so uh, there aren't any in the the back. Uh, I either haven't found them or they haven't shipped yet. There's still some, still yeah, really, still some uh, stuff uh, that I'm waiting for from uh, Aircraft Spruce. I'll have to check the uh, uh, what was uh, back ordered. Uh, back ordered is a very loose term because <laughs> uh, typically uh, uh, unless I call them and have them uh, uh, fill the order they'll just wait forever so uh, end of that rant anyway uh, all this uh, all this rigging is is complete uh, I guess I can I guess the, the real show is you know moving these so you can see those go up and down and the other one goes in the uh, the opposite direction as I'm uh, uh, pulling those so uh, really happy with that uh, I think that's it for for this the video now I'm gonna leave all those plates off cuz I'm probably well there's no probably about it I am gonna have to go uh, you know do some more modifications to that uh, that center part to, to allow stuff to go through it so uh, uh, happy about uh, all this rigging being done and the controls as far as the ailerons go uh, are completely done uh, I'm also just going to hold off uh, putting the floor back in until I get the uh, the elevator portion of, of stuff done because uh, I, um, I just may end up having to cut something again uh, so uh, all the pieces that go in the this the floor that go in that was in here uh, can easily be uh, uh, cut up to accommodate this. So uh, uh, now that this is all done, I can secure this down, uh, this big long uh, dark gray piece uh, to the floor. Uh, you can see there's you know some uh, some flex there. Uh, I guess you can't really tell, but if I go underneath, you know there's a little bit of flex there that needs to be uh, secured to the to the metal floor. So. Once uh, that's done, I guess the ailerons are complete, 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 uh, which is just a small job. Uh, and then it's on to the uh, the uh, elevator control, and then back to the uh, tail. Uh, I don't expect the elevator to be anywhere near as difficult as not difficult, but time-consuming and meticulous as the as the aileron control, because there's. Uh, you know, with the ailerons, there's all the pulleys and uh, the swivels and the uh, you know the the, the uh, ends and the adjustments and you know making sure everything is just so. Uh, not that everything doesn't have to be just so for the the elevator, but uh, it's not as much uh, it's not as much work to do. So uh, that will be my next starting point is the uh, brackets for uh, some of the control uh, controls that go down you know from here uh, to there and then to the back of the aircraft. Okay, today is uh, September 27th, uh, Tuesday, and I just came out and got that mounted. It's just Clecoed right now. Uh, that's part of the, uh, obviously, the uh, part of the elevator controls. And I got one side of this all completely uh, riveted down, so it's nice and solid now. Uh, I'm still going to put the flooring in, but uh, uh, it's a lot more solid now. Uh, I still need to put rivets both in here and all along the bottom here and of course on, on that end as well. 
So, uh, either tomorrow or the next day I'll come back out and uh, get some more riveting done. I don't know how much of the uh, the tail, uh, the elevator controls I'll get done because uh, uh, this takes a lot of uh, up and down underneath the uh, the cabin to get all the holes perfectly straight. So, uh, and I don't want to screw that up. So, uh, this ended up so nice. It's like just perfectly straight. Uh, all along the bottom and I did it from the uh, the bottom instead of the uh, uh, top side for obvious reasons there's no way of uh, getting the rivet gun underneath all that and there's there's plenty of room for the uh, the rivet heads under there so okay today is Wednesday September 28th and I just came out and all I really got done was uh, finishing riveting down this uh this piece here uh so a lot of uh uh you know getting down underneath here uh, and crap ton of uh, riveting so uh, that styrofoam makes a nice headrest believe it or not so uh this is all complete now and uh i've just got to uh, do a little bit of riveting on these uh two pieces here and then I can get started uh, on on that part to uh, getting the uh, uh, the elevator controls uh, finished so uh, so far I'm happy with the progress uh, I knew this was going to take a while because uh, 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 it's a little difficult to measure because of the way it it is but uh, I found the easiest thing to do especially for the center section where it's just impossible to get in uh, was to just make an accurate measurement on this side for the one hole and then again on that side and then on the under, on the underside do the uh, uh, just draw a line and then measure it out on the bottom uh, and do it from there uh, and then you get a nice straight line of rivets and here there's enough room uh, I had a, uh, a really really long uh, drill bit uh, that I was able to uh, to center in that space there and uh, and get all the rivets. I don't know if you can see it or not. Uh, so, same same deal as uh, as the uh, side here. Uh, it's just a little more difficult to do. So uh, that's all done, and uh, it's on to uh, that little bit of riveting there, which shouldn't take more than uh, you know an hour at the most, uh, not even. Uh, and then uh, and then it's off off to the races with uh, finally getting this uh, elevator controls done. And it won't be too much longer until I get the uh, 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 start uh, doing the the tail section because uh, I I don't expect this to take very long, uh, judging from uh, what's needed in the uh, uh, in the drawings. Uh, there's a few brackets that I need to build, but uh, uh, other than that, I don't expect it to take too long. I think I'm gonna break the video here and, and just go ahead and publish what I have. Even though really all it is is, is these controls uh, and getting everything uh, um, uh, buttoned up for the uh, you know the the cabling, but uh, uh, over here uh, I just have some plastic protecting the cable right now. Uh, I believe that hole needs to be a little bit larger. So uh, if you notice that in the video, uh, uh, it's not going to stay that way. I just put some ca plastic. Uh, uh, it's just cable protector, uh, the kind that you use for like running wires in a car and stuff. Uh, just to, uh, you know, as I'm testing the the uh, cable, because uh, it it does just slightly rub up against the metal, and I don't want it to. Uh, I don't want it to do that while I'm testing stuff. But uh, other than these uh, two holes, uh, and they both need to be uh, made larger in uh, in uh, this direction. So. Uh, uh, before I, I declare this all done, I have to uh, take that out and uh, uh, and and drill out the cable uh, or not the cable the uh, the hole for the cable just a little bit to the uh, uh, to the side because it's just just barely touching and I don't want it to. So looking forward to starting getting on the uh, elevator controls. So I guess that's it for tonight. Okay, today is Thursday, September twenty ninth. Uh, came out this evening to just do a, a couple hours of uh, work on this so uh, this swivel for the uh, 
elevator is uh, is attached now. There's still a little bit to do. Uh, I need to put uh, drill holes uh, here for uh, uh, retainer pins. Uh, uh, so that little bit uh, is left to do there. Uh, there will be a hole drilled down in here for the uh, uh, the actuator rod to uh, to pass through, and then it goes all the way down uh, along uh, that bracket there. And then there will be another hole drilled in the uh, landing gear bucket uh, right dead center uh, for the uh, <coughs> for the uh, uh, the rest of it to pass through and then attach to uh, to that. Uh, so there's a big, long, solid uh, rod uh, that goes through that, uh, and then it mounts to another uh, rod, uh, and then uh, off to the uh, the elevator. Um, the other bit I just got done today was just uh, um, riveting these down. Uh, so uh, this is all done. That's all done. Uh, this front part is all riveted down. Uh, as soon as I get the uh, rod uh, done that goes through here, I'm going to take a second look at the drawings and then put the uh, the flooring back in. Uh, this is fairly solid now, uh, now that there's some structure there to, to hold everything, but uh, it, it's still got a lot of give, especially in the front there. But uh, uh, it's coming along. Uh, so this, this uh, the control sticks... And all the the uh, uh, the hardware to secure it to the floor and everything is done. It's uh, uh, it's definitely on to the uh, the tail now. I think I might take this back out. Uh, I deliberately uh, stopped uh, at this point uh, because this is just a little on the uh, on the stiff side. Uh, I know you can't tell uh, with just but like this, it's not like super smooth. Uh, I think what's going on is just uh, it's rubbing a little bit uh, there. Uh, I need to check both there and on the center. Uh, I got down there with a flashlight and there's just a, a smidgen uh, of room so I don't think it's rubbing on anything and there's no uh, there's no marks from uh, from it rubbing so that center part probably isn't rubbing on the back here. I think it's just uh, I think it's just this uh, sides here are just a little bit too close to the uh, uh, to the edge uh, I just need to take a look at it it's not like super stiff but like like I can uh, if I put it anywhere it stays there <laughs> like there's enough friction and and maybe that's okay but uh, uh, I'd like to see why it's not uh, more uh, freely turning uh, before I uh, before I uh, call it done so uh, that part uh, will get investigated uh, next time I'm out uh, probably won't be out till Saturday uh, so uh, I'm probably just going to go ahead and publish this uh, as it sits now at least I got part of the tail done and uh, uh, the uh, the control sticks and uh, all the the mounting uh, is all done uh, the uh, mounting of uh, this front piece and those sides call for 42 rivets. And I know I used a little bit more than that. Uh, it's probably closer to 50, 55. Uh, these are all spaced uh, one and a half inches uh, as well as these here. So uh, uh, the drawings don't actually state what the, the, the spacing should be. So... Uh, Maybe the spacing is, is two inches or something, but uh, I just went with the same spacing that they specified on the uh, on the edge here. So uh, the only difference is they're uh, riveted from the bottom instead of the top. So uh, I think that's about it. Uh, uh, I think I already covered uh, attaching those, and they they really make it nice and solid. Finally done the the uh, aileron controls and on to the uh, the elevator. So hopefully uh, next video uh, that'll all be in there and I'll have the tail started at the back. So I guess that's it for today. Thanks for watching.